Hey, what's up guys? Klausnex here, and today I wanted to give a warning to all football players. I'm going to try and save you guys from sustaining the same injuries I did because of mistakes I made because of my football training. And how all your techniques from football don't actually transfer into strength training and powerlifting as much as they think you do. So as a lineman, this is kind of tailored towards linemen because linemen are more often in these stances than other positions, but it's definitely transferable to other positions. Okay, so we all know the, the two-point ready stance. As an old lineman, the butt's out, you know, hands are up, you're always ready. Springy, you're loose, you can block someone, you can have your legs back at the same time. So you have your, your stable foundation, you have your arms up, right? This kind of form is a good football stance. But as it is a good football stance, it is not good squat form, okay? This is a mistake a lot of football players make, myself included. Because when you're like this, and you have that curve in your back, and you got your butt out, and you have your hands ready, you are ready to take a force from this angle, okay? So you can take a force from this direction, this plane of movement. This is what's known as moving in your sagittal plane of motion, right? It's, it's your forwards, backwards, anything in this plane of motion is in your sagittal plane. So if you can imagine another player coming at me right now, I'm ready like this and like this. In this plane of motion, I'm ready to take impact. I'm ready to give impact. And this form with the back is good for that. So as football players, guys, we're used to getting pounded into our heads. The low man wins. In particular, stick your ass out. Okay, that's what I'm so used to hearing. I'm used to coaching that. Stick your ass out more. This curve in the spine and this butt out. So if any of you football players or coaches are watching this, bear in mind this is very general. The form I'm using for this video isn't exactly perfect. I'm just really trying to get to talk about the general curving of the spine. That is my focus here. So let's add a barbell now. So as I mentioned in football, you're most often in the sagittal plane moving forwards. This is in a different plane now. So this isn't the same type of muscle movement, so you need different form. This is now in the frontal plane, the anatomical plane. Your frontal plane, guys, imagine like a sheet of glass cutting your body in half through this side. And if you were to move out of this plane, you'd break the glass, okay? You're only in this plane. So your center of gravity isn't moving with you like it is in football. It's staying still, so your whole spinal alignment and your core changes for this plane of movement. Okay, so naturally, from what we've been taught, you wanna stick your butt out. That is how you have lower core stability. That's how you lower your center of gravity. So naturally, that's how you should do a squat, right? That information should transfer over into powerlifting. And that's exactly what I thought too. So then you go down, your butt is out, right? Just like they teach you in football. Then you come up. You go down, butt is out, curve in the back, and you go up. This is okay for body squats, guys, and if you're not doing a lot of weight, then it's kind of acceptable. Then it's then it's not too big of a deal. There isn't too many health risks. The health risks come, guys, when you start adding heavy weight on the bar. When you start adding heavy weight on the bar, that's when it becomes a risk to your spine, and that's why I'm making this video, to save you guys from getting the same injury that I did. Okay, so you come down, curve in the back, if you want to take a look at the link above, I critique this form further in one of my videos on bad squat form, but I'm gonna kind of get to the point here. What you want to see is a flat back, a flat back like this, okay? My spine is aligned with my skull and my hips, okay? When you stick your butt out like this, the weight overloads on that curve. You can see where the weight on the bar would be coming down. It would be coming straight down. My hips aren't be there behind me, but they're not my center of gravity. My center of gravity is at my neck. And that's where a lot of people get top heavy and feel like they're gonna fall over. You see how when I have a straight back and when I curve, the difference that I can make in a potential squat. So I'm not gonna get into how to squat. That'd be a very lengthy video and that's not the point I wanna get across. The point I wanna get across is beware this sticking butt out curve in the spine move, okay? That is not transferable from football. You need different form for squats. Well, this is using a portion of your core, it is not using your abdominals. When I'm in this form, my abs are relaxed and that takes away about half of your power from a squat. In that sense, guys, it takes away from your deadlifts, any kind of heavy power lifting you wanna do. Football doesn't engage your abs as much as you'd like to think it does and that's coming from alignment. So two things for you football players out there. Keep a straight back and that can be done by engaging your abs. When you engage your abs, it brings it in. Imagine sucking your stomach in, flattens out your back. It's gonna make you stronger and it's gonna save you from injury. All right, that is my video to you guys. I hope you liked it, I hope you learned something. Uh, if you liked it, leave me a like and give me a subscribe, that would be awesome. And stay tuned for more fitness videos. Klausnex out.